Hi everyone! I hope you're all doing well. Today's video will be the second episode of my thrift flip series. Last time, I turned these cropped pens into a vintage style two-piece set. I'll leave the link to the video in the description down below if you want to watch it as well. But this time, I'll try my best to transform this linen dress right here. It's not really flattering on me right now, but I have quite a bit of fabric to work with, so I'm excited to see what will come out of it. My plan is to make something along these lines. Either a two-piece set or a dress with some cute buttons in it that has some sort of summer vibes to it. But nothing too complicated. Hopefully it will turn out cute and I'll be able to inspire you guys to upcycle some old clothes that you have at home as well. Now let's go. I just realized I might not have enough fabric to make anything with buttons at all because it uses more fabric for the flap. So I decided to go with a really simple design. This is straight neckline with straps that will tie on the shoulders and maybe front pockets if I have enough fabric. Something really reformation style. Um, the pattern pieces are very simple. I'll show you how to make them in a bit. And it will have an invisible zipper in the back. So the back skirt will be cut in two and the front will be cut on the fold. Like this X here that I put represents where I'll place the fabric on the fold. And that's it. Now let's go to pattern making. So I'll start by tracing the basic bodice block to a sheet of paper. I have posted a video on how to make one using your own body measurements. It's really complete, so if you don't have a bodice block, I recommend checking it out. I'll link it in the description. I measured in the mirror how low I wanted my top to reach, and I chose 10 and a half centimeters. I also measured where I wanted the straps to hit, and marked it down. Then I drew a curved line for the armhole. I also entered one and a half centimeters here to avoid gaping later on. This is something you'll figure out testing, but that's usually the amount that I need to alter so it fits me well. And then I just cut the pieces. This is a center front and this is the side front. I'm also retracing the back and using the ruler to draw a curved line down back. The center back will have a zipper, so I'm adding 1cm here, and 1cm to the bottom. This is the center back and the side back. Now for the skirt, draw a line with the length you want your skirt to be. The top will be your waistline, and the bottom will be the hem of the skirt. Then, mark down the distance between your waist and your hips. This will be the hip line. Mark here your hips measurement divided by 4. I added 2 cm to the number, so it will be looser on my hips. Then mark your waist divided by 4, plus the front art. In my case, the front art will be 2 cm wide. I'm using 13 cm as the dart length. Then I'm using the curved ruler to connect the waist to the hip line. I'm cutting it open to close the dart. That way it will create an A-line skirt. The back skirt is almost the same. The only difference is the dart. It should be bigger than the front dart, like 3 cm or more. Especially if you have a big difference between your waist and your hips measurement. And there will be a zipper closure, so you should cut two of the back with 1cm seam allowance in the middle. And <laughs> so, I have a problem. The skirt doesn't actually fit. Here's the side seam. So all of this part will be out, like here's the side seam. So I'll try to figure something out, I'll probably have to alter the pattern. Now I'm cutting all the seams of the dress open. I'll show you later what I decided to do with the skirt, but I basically just returned to how it was before closing the dart. 
It was a bit of a puzzle trying to make all of the pieces fit, but eventually I did it. I just got the lining together with the fashion fabric since they were already together on the dress. And here is the skirt. Instead of a line, it will be more of a straight cut. And I transferred the darts to the skirt. Don't worry, I retraced it better later on. I started by preparing the straps. Just folded them in half and sewed. And then I turned them inside out with the help of a loop turner. Now sew the bodice. It's really simple. You just have to sew all the pieces together at the sides. Sew the lining and the fashion pieces separately and pay attention to the position of each one of the pieces. Now comes a really important step. Don't skip this. Ironing is really necessary to make your seams look well done. I'm ironing the straps as well. Now you have to place the bodice and the lining right sides together. I'm placing each one of the four straps on top of the seam. So at the top. Now for the skirt. You need to sew the darts close. One tip, don't backstitch at the end of sewing. Leave a trail of thread behind and tie a few knots with your hands. It will make the end result look way better. Then iron the darts to the sides. Do the same with the back darts. Now place the back skirt pieces right sides together with the front skirt and sew at the sides. Then place the bodice right sides together with the skirt matching the seams. Now we will add the zipper. Another tip, to make it look more invisible, you should try ironing the teeth open. Place the zipper right at the edge and sew, to both sides. Then close the back. Now use the lining to cover the zipper as I'm showing in the video and top stitch it. Both the lining and the bodice are being placed right sides together here. Now I'm pinning the lining at the waist, making sure to match the seams. And then I'll sew right on top of the seam. This is called stitch on the ditch. And then all there's left to do is the hem of the dress. And the dress went from this, to this. It's so nice to be able to give old clothes a new look. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you liked the video and if it helped you, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe. I post new videos every Friday. See you guys next week. Bye!